All right, welcome back to the show. Folks at home, get comfortable yep. being uncomfortable. <laughs> I like what you like did what there. there. Yeah, uh, he's the Sparky who ran 4,000 kilometres from Perth to Bondi, officially the second fastest ever. Incredible stuff. And it wasn't just a test of endurance. The trek also raised more than $2.5 million for homelessness. Wow. And the superstar behind it all, Ned Brockman, joins us now in the studio. Welcome again, my friend. It's good to be here. We're it's back. Third time lucky. Wow. You're still fighting. You're still fighting. <laughs> still fighting, always. I can't believe it's been a year since that run. Amazing. Mate. It's crazy. It's, um, yeah, the way, you know, the last year has been, it's just been, you know, doors have opened and, yeah. and life's been pretty crazy, but it's, uh, yeah, life-changing. I, I still remember, uh, I said to you a couple of weeks ago, that mm. day when you arrived in Bondi um, and, and you came over the hill. Um, just again, what uh, talk us through that moment. Uh, honestly, like, I don't think anyone can ever prepare you for that. You know, I, I ran from Cottesloe being, you know, five or ten people down at the beach when we wow. started to, you know, getting into New South Wales and every second car honking their horn and to get to Bondi and uh, have the scenes like that, I don't think anyone can ever prepare you for that. But uh, yeah, it's still, I'm trying to, um, you know, put words to it and hence why we've got the book. Uh, yeah. But it's, yeah, it's pretty special. Well, and it's all for an incredible cause as well. I mean, we hear so much about, you know, housing and homelessness, and the government not necessarily doing enough. You were able to raise two and a half million dollars yeah. to, to help that situation. Yeah, big time. It's a massive issue. And especially in Australia, we should not be, uh, you should not have, you know, you should have access to, uh, where your next meal is going to be, yeah. a roof over your head or a bed to sleep in. Mm. Um, and the fact there's 126,000 people in Australia that don't have that mm. um, is a startling statistic. So, you know, working with Mobilise and the team, that 2.6, hopefully, you know, the next next goal is 10 million, yeah. uh, we'll be able to make significant change. It's, yeah, it's awesome that you're committed to that. Yeah. Um, just remind everyone how far you ran every day. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the days I could run, I had some severe injuries, but I averaged uh, about 87k a day. A day? Wow. Um, yeah. Two marathons. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Two marathons. A lot of a lot of the time they were 100k days, but some days there I had some pretty severe injuries, so I had to pull the pin and get it. How many pair of shoes did you go through? Um, about 14 pairs. Yeah. Is so that every, all? <laughs> every 350k I had to turn them over. Did you get chafe? Um, no, I was pretty oh, skinny. Gosh. Pretty skinny by day day seven, so zero chafe, mate. <laughs> there was the thighs don't touch touching when you lose 12 kilos. <laughs> Unfortunately, mine. <laughs> anyway. We don't know what that feels like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe shed the kegs, Carlos. <laughs> I'm trying. Run a few k's I'm a day, trying. hey? Um, <laughs> That's all it takes. You've produced this. Yeah. You're a sparky. I mean, do you wake up some mornings and go, I don't know where it's eventually going to take me, or are you committed to a path? No, I think, like, I, I kind of have, like, a two-year plan or, like, a one-year plan. I think if you have it set in stone and it changes, it'll be quite, you know, discombobulating. It gets mm. all, all much. You have to at least envision something, though. You can't just fall into a life like this. You kind of have to picture it, visualise it mm. and see it. Like, the most nervous I've ever been was on here telling the world that I was going to do it, or yeah. you know, half Australia, um, in my budgies, which is actually in the book. Uh, but if we can get that up, that'd be good. Is there a picture of it? There yeah. is. Yeah, we'll you find it for us. Um, but that was like the most, yeah, the most nerve-wracking I've ever been because it meant that I had to put it out there and make yeah. uh, make myself accountable. There we go. There just, it is. Just come in, zoom in, nice and tight there, mate. Carlos. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Carlos and Ned in my budgies. There we go. <laughs> it's How the centerfold. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> um, so what is the next thing in your, uh, in that goal plan that you have? Yeah, so I, I guess the, I touched on it before, but the 10 million I want to raise yep. to mobilise and that has to be done through, you know, whether it's the suffering out on a big run. Yeah. Um, each pre-sale of nedbrockland.com will sell, um, we sell that $5 goes straight to mobilise. Um, but yeah, I've got an event in September next year that I'm, pretty keen to... I love it. Oh, I, we can't wait to hear about that yeah. and, and all things you do. You're such a terrific energy force. Um, also, yeah. all the, there's some kids still on holidays who are growing their mullets out. This is an amazing I, bit of it's mullet. glorious. This is just great mullet it action. It keeps evolving. Does it? Yeah, it just becomes... Uh, it's, yeah, yeah. it's an extension of my personality. I like what you've done with the, the bleach there. You've bleached the back of it. I think we've got, to, we've got to do a re-bleach, but we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> Regrowth doesn't matter. I've got, got, got a fair bit on the, the yeah, next week, so we'll go to the back. There we go. There we go. Any hairdressers, hit me up. We'll get it going. What do you reckon? <laughs> it's a thing of beauty, mate. It's a thing of beauty. I love you, Ned. Great to see you, mate. Too. Perfect. Thank and, you, guys. And look, it's a, it is a terrific read. Yeah. Uh, go out and grab that book because uh, you will be inspired to set your own goals and grow your hair like... You know, <laughs> like hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?